This is Sparta! In the first of our 1 11 series, midfielder Paul Robinson selected the greatest side he's played alongside. This time it's the turn of his Spartans teammate Ian Watson, a player who's made his way around the non league scene and now will select his 1 11. Right, Ian, uh, formation first. Um, I'm going to go three at the back. I'm going to have wing backs. And I'm going to have two centre midfield and one just playing off the two centre forwards. So it's kind of like a five, three, two kind of formation. Sounds intriguing. Uh, <laughs> so we'll start with the goalkeeper. Um, goalkeeper, it's going to be a bit harsh on a couple of keys up here, but I'm going to go Granger from Benfield. Um, he's just coming out, catching things, shot stopping. He can throw it as far as most keepers can kick it. Um, just a really good keeper, to be honest, so I'm going to go Granger. So if we go into your, your back three, we'll go yeah. right-sided first. Um, right-sided first, I'm going to go for Chris Hunter. Plays for Darwin. Um, played for Shildon with him. Um, pace, absolutely electric, very strong. Good on the ball, um, decent in the air. You'd not see anyone get past him, he's just too fast. Um, what he'll do is if wingers are coming down, he'll just shimmy them out. Um, and he's very organised as well, so I'm going to go on there. And at the heart of that back four? Um, the heart, it was a tough one. Um, it was a toss up. I was going to put Daniel Moore in, who I've played with for a lot of years. But just on talent, I'm going to go for Gary Brown, who um, is at Captain of Darlington now. Um, on the ball probably is the best I've seen, coming out at the back he can ping it 40-50 yards straight to feet, good in the air, he's a great person as well, um, and he's like a winner, total warrior, so I'm going to go Brownie in there. I'm not to mention a, a bit of a Spartans legend as well. Yeah well, another reason why I've picked him obviously because he was here before and I know they liked him, so he's a good one to have him, good luck to have in the dressing room as well. And to finish that back three? Um, to finish the back three I'm going to go Spenny Moore's captain who captained them at the Vars last year, Chris Mason. Um, just put that in there. He's left footed, probably he's the fittest player I've ever played with. Um, he's good on the ball as well and he's really good at having on the chain. He's a total winner, gets lads up for it. Um, but as I say, just on strength and fitness, you've got to put him in the back there. So I wouldn't want to be a centre forward playing against any of them three, to be honest. Right, so in this dynamic formation, your wing back's another key role. So we'll go right side of wing back uh, first. Right side of wing back, um, probably best mate in football. I'm going to go Chris Bell. Um, when we were at Seam, we got promoted from Division 2 and I've just seen him destroy left backs. Um, some people might see his final delivery is not great, but for me, he can, like, soul destroying for left back, keep getting um, tortured by him, to be honest. So I'm going to put him in wing back very fit as well so he can get up and down. He'll probably go a lot more that way than he will that way, to be fair. So Chris Hunter will sort him out, he'll be alright. And on the left? On the left, I'm going to go for a spot the legend again. I'm going to put Robbie Deal in. Um, have to really to be honest, um, since I've come here I've been blown away how good he actually is. Um, I would hate to be a right back playing against him. Um, it just inside, outside, you don't know where he's going to go. I mean, you don't even know which foot is the strongest foot to be honest. Um, he gets goals, assists, probably up there with one of the best players I've ever played with. To be honest, in a short space of time, he's very good. His crack's not brilliant, light, but his football is to be fair. Though. So you're going to have to hold a midfielder almost. So um, Yeah, I'm going to go for Halliday, um, nicknamed Buddy. I played with him at Team Red. So he's an ex-pro, he was at Hartlepool. And then he went to play for Motherwell after that. But just had an ability to keep hold of the ball. Um, people would come in, try and take it off me, get his body in the week and turn either way. Um, he gets goals as well, to be honest, as well as sitting and getting the ball out wide. Um, he can take people on. He's got everything. I said when I played with him at Team, He's the best player I've ever seen at that level, and he was, he was absolutely fantastic. Um, I'll put his nickname in there, which is Buddy. Um, alongside him, I'm going to go Paul Robinson. Um, obviously, you know yourselves from seeing here. I was at Whitley B with him. I played against him a lot of years. Um, when you're playing against him, all the team talks is just for to stop him playing. If you stop him playing, you'll stop the opposition team. And then when playing with him, you used to notice teams would try and put two or three when we were playing Bishop Auckland for Whitley Bay and they got a lad just to stand on him literally all game wherever Robbo went he went and they beat us because he could, we couldn't get Robbo in the game um, both footed um, as I said along with Buddy probably one of the best players I've seen at this level absolutely fantastic so I'll go 
rub in there. Right, I'm going to play this guy in the hole. Um, if anyone who's seen him play, they'll, they'll know exactly what I'm talking about. He's called Stuart Niven. He was at Children. He's probably the most intelligent player I've ever seen at this level. Um, he won't do much running for you. He won't tr chuck any players down or anything like that. He'll literally just stand in here. But when you get him the ball, um, centre forwards who have played with him said literally they wouldn't know that they were in on goal until he would put them in on goal and then suddenly in front of goal with the ball. Um, so intelligent, good in the air, um, really good with both feet. Um, so he's got to be in just in the hole there. As I say, he won't do any running, so the midfield will have to do a little bit of running for him. And another ex pro as well. Another ex pro, yeah, he was pro at Ipswich. Um, I think he actually played in the playoff final for them. I don't know if he was on the bench or whether he came on when he was younger, um, but then he played in Scotland and I think he might have played for it might have been Carlisle or something over here, so excellent to have around the team. He's a good manager now as well. Um, so, you, any good team has a, a good strike partnership in this one, I'm sure? Yeah, this it's one. Different. Um, I can't see there being two better strikers in the league than this. Um, I'm going to go first with Paul Chow, Whitney B. Um, everyone knows Chow, he's just a goal scoring legend. Um, he might not be the best on the ball or things like that, but if you've got someone on your team who, when it's not going against you, can just pop up with a goal out of nowhere, you can't buy that. Um, and he's just absolutely great lad as well, can't speak high enough of him. Um, and as I see, we'll just get your goal after goal. So I'm going to go Chow in there. And his partner. His partner, um, I'll see the best player that I've played with at non-league level, um, Gavin Cogden from Spennymoor. I played with him at Nissan when we were in the second division. Um, there was times where we weren't the best side, but we were getting beat, and you would just get the ball to him from kickoff. I've seen him score goals kicking off here, and he just literally took it down here and pinged it in the top corner, and he done two of them in about a minute when we were getting beat once. Um, I, you can't mark him. I don't understand how he's still playing at this level. I would honestly, any club I was at, whether it was Premiership, I would take a chance on him. He's that good. He's so quick, uh, brilliant on the ball, and he does get goals as well. So I'm going to go Cogden in there. So that's your 11 selected. Are there any yeah. honourable mentions for players who've just missed out? Yeah, um, I played with some two great lads, at, well, a few great lads of children. Um, Stevie Walkley, if I had a sitting midfielder, he would have been in there. Phil Bromwell at the back, along with Bobby Moore. Um, Mark Tinkler, he was an ex-pro, probably just him and Phil, I've seen them too late on in the career, but they were both brilliant and did love football, you know, coming down from pro, sometimes you get people who can't be bothered for this kind of level, but they were both class, really professional and very good players. Also, um, Martin Houlihan, who was here previously, he was a great player, I can't believe I haven't fitted him in, to be honest, um, and Warren Byrne scored lots of goals when I was at Children, so they're kind of harsh to be left out, to be honest. And any great side is has a great leader, uh, yeah. so who's your captain? It's a tough one to be honest because there's a lot of people who um, could captain that. I'm going to go for Chris Mason just because he's just won the Vars with Spenny Moore, captain in the side at Wembley. Um, he, everyone likes him, I don't know anyone who doesn't like him. He gets on with all the lads and he'll get you up for a game. He's only young, he's younger than me. Um, I think he's only 26, 27, but he was captain children when he was 20 year old. Um, and you would think that he's been doing it all his life, so I'm gonna go Chris Mason. And finally, the big one. Uh, you've been warned before you came in here. <laughs> Who's your manager? Right, I got told I wasn't allowed to see Tom and Colin. We'll get that on camera. <laughs> um, obviously I played for Chandler, who was one more than any manager going, so I could have said him, but um, I'm gonna see Gary Forrest at children. Um, not just because he pays me wages at work, but to be fair, he put me back left back. Um, he gets a good team around him, so he's now got Stuart Evan assistant, Philly Bromwell. He's very organised, so for Vars games, it's always everything's like pristine. Um, and to be fair, from where Shillen were to where they are now, he's got to take a lot of credit for that. Um, you can see it's like money and things like that, but he stuck by them when a lot of people would have kind of quit and maybe went elsewhere. Um, but so I'm going to see Gary Forrest for the manager and also. Unlucky Stuart Gooden, um, I played a season with him at the same, he just gets everyone wanting to play for him, so, but I'll see, I'll stick with Gary.